I recently moved into a different room, and it has more than enough room for all of my stuff. Now I can do my work with enough space. My new desk has a space for my computer and several spaces where I can put other equipment. Yep, this room has enough room. Let's discuss. Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John. And thanks, everyone. It's Michael here from Happy English, and I help people speak English better. And this is Happy English Podcast, episode 686. Room for Time and Space. Building vocabulary can often be a challenge. Today, I've come across something that I'm sure will help you out in your quest to increase your vocabulary knowledge. These are sets of nouns which have a different meaning depending on whether they are used in their countable or uncountable form. Let's dive in. The first word is room. As a countable noun, room means a part of a building or a house. Your house may have a bedroom or two, a bathroom, a living room, and a kitchen. Each of these different parts of the house is called a room or rooms. Here are some other examples with this usage of room. A friend of mine told me that he's looking to buy a new house with five rooms. Patty lives in a one-room apartment in Brooklyn. On the other hand, we use the word room as an uncountable noun when we talk about a physical space, especially whether or not there is enough or isn't enough. For example, I've got long legs, so there's never enough room on a plane for me. I think we have plenty of room in the backyard for the dogs to play. Space is a similar word in meaning and usage to room. As a countable noun, the word space means an area that can be used for something. In my car, I have a space for a cup and also a space to put my phone. Here are some other examples with this usage for space. In an airplane, at your seat, you can find a space for your shoes and also a space for your carry-on bag. There's also a space to put something thin like a tablet or a magazine. I put the book in the empty space on the bookshelf. And, like room, we use the word space as an uncountable noun when we talk about a physical space, especially whether or not there's enough. For example, at the restaurant, they gave us a very wide table so there was enough space for everyone to enjoy their meal comfortably. I found an antique desk at a garage sale, but I didn't buy it because unfortunately, there isn't enough space in my house. Next, let's take a minute and talk about time. When the word time relates to clock time, it's not countable. You can have some time, a little time, and even no time. Here are some examples with this usage of the word time. I don't have any free time in my schedule today, but I have plenty of time to meet with you tomorrow. We still have a lot of time left in this podcast to study English. The word time also means experience, and when it's used that way, it's countable. You could do something one time, or ten times, or many times. Here are some examples. I've been to that restaurant a few times, and the food is always good there. I've tried to call Jack several times, but he never answered the phone. I wonder what he's doing. 
Keep in mind, the best way to remember this or any vocabulary is to take the word or phrase, write it in a sentence that's true for you or true in your world, and then memorize your sentences. Well, that's all the time we have today for this English lesson. If you'd like to get more practice using your English, why don't you join my podcast learner's study group? There, you can make new international friends, join me for live group coaching every week, plus get the PDF transcript and audio download for every Happy English podcast in the past and in the future. And each episode has exercises where you can practice this English point with speaking and writing checked by me. To learn more or To see some of the example sentences from this lesson, just visit MyHappyEnglish.com and choose Podcast Lesson 686. Remember, learning another language is not easy, but it's not impossible, and I'm here to help you on your journey. This podcast was brought to you by Happy English. Please visit MyHappyEnglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.